Welcome back guys. Uh, in this uh, short uh, tutorial we're going to cover uh, switching out the transmission fluid in a manual transmission. Uh, in this particular one it's the 091 transmission. Um, it'll be very similar in uh, Vanigans as well uh, but this is a 1977 four-speed uh, transmission. So uh, let's take a look. Now we're on the driver's side uh, of the transmission here and this is where the fill plug is on the Vanigans it's actually on the passenger side approximately this location so we just want to take our 17 millimeter um, basically an allen key hex head key and uh, make sure that we can pop open the fill plug first uh, if we drain the fluid, but then this is seized, then we're in big trouble and it's going to take a while to um, get that resolved. Welding a nut and so forth, which is a pain. So once we get this undone, then here's the drain plug right here. Now on the Subaru converted bus, we have the um, exhaust cross member. You'll see there's a joint right here. So basically all we have to do is drop the um, passenger side header off and that gives us great access to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and make sure I can get the drain plug undone or the uh, fill plug undone. The transmission fill plug has been loosened and I have taken off the right side exhaust header. This is a slip joint, so uh, it just kind of rotates off. And I have broken the connection on the drain plug. So I have a drain container here, and we're ready to drain out the fluid. And the majority of the fluid is drained out. I'm just going to let it drip here for a while, and uh, then we'll look into filling the case. Here are the plugs all cleaned up. This is the drain plug and it has a magnet on it to catch um, shavings from the transmission. And I uh, tried to clean it up as best I can. And here's the fill plug. And it, these little guys are basically the same. They just have a, uh, the fill plug has a magnet with a little clip inside. I mean, they kind of go together like that too. It's kind of cool. But uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to coat them with a little bit of anises, just a touch, just so next person who does the uh, transmission cha lube change uh, will not have to struggle getting these out. Okay, and the drain plug is put back in. Now I'm going to install the uh, exhaust header, and uh, then we'll look at filling the system up with fresh fluid. Now we're ready to fill the transmission. I like these pumps, they're super easy. Uh, it takes you know anywhere between three and four uh, quarts. So I usually just get a, a gallon jug. They're easier to work with, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, to use this pump, you just take the inlet side and put that into the um, gallon jug or other vessel that you have. Put this into the transmission and just pump up and down on this lever. And we're just gonna fill it up until about a half inch from below the, um, the fill hole. If you start seeing fluid come out, then you know you've, you've definitely got enough in there, but you want it just, just below that lip. All set up here, and I'm just pumping away, and we are going into the transmission there. And I'm just going to fill it up. Okay, so I think I'm pretty close here. So I'm just going to stick a finger in about one, maybe just slightly under a knuckle, and we've got fluid. So um, we're good. I'm going to button her up and take her for a spin. Thanks for watching. That was a quick little tutorial on how to switch the uh, gear oil in your manual transmission for a uh, bus or vanigan. Uh, the particulars for this one was it was a Subaru 2.2 um, engine, so we had to undo the passenger side exhaust manifold, but other than that, it's going to be about the same on an air-cooled or a uh, um, Wasser Boxer for a Vanagon. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.